Stampers, welcome back to my studio today. Today I'm going to show you how to do a marble technique. It's done with alcohol inks, but look at how absolutely gorgeous that is. I love doing this. I love playing with this technique. You can come up with a million different ways to do this and it never looks the same, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to show you a couple of the things I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the Tall Flowers vase. You can find this in our store. And something new in our store today is this new Tim Holtz uh, kit. And it's kind of a beginner kit because it has everything that you need um, in with it. So you're going to get your um, alcohol inks. Let me just show you. You're going to get three colors of your alcohol inks. So you've got a yellow, you've got a red, and you've got this teal color right here. So these are your alcohol inks. Um, you're also going to get your um, metallic, okay, the mixative, um, and it's a metallic color. You always want to make sure you shake it up. You hear that little thing in the bottom there? You want to make sure you shake that up really well. And then this right here is your um, alcohol blending solution, and you definitely need that. So um, it has everything that you need to begin with, but it also has some extra things in there with it. So you've got this little dauber and a bunch of the little pads. You've got a, an instruction booklet. You also get in that same little kit a, um, I call it, a, I use this as a blender or um, something that I, it's like a palette, but you can also use this as a stamping block because they give you a set of stamps to go along with it. You also get some of the paper, which you're desperately going to need, okay, because you need um, a glossy, non-porous paper for this technique. So I'm just going to take one of these out right now because we're going to use this. All right, so we're going to use that. And, oh, you also get um, a little uh, black sp um, spot, all right? So you, it's an ink pad, all right? So um, that is going to be what we're going to use it, uh, for this card right here, and that is the adorable little vase right here. I wanted to show you what else we use the tall flower for. So here's the tall flower. I added a little bow on top of that, and um, I just love this die. Again, it's in our store along with the Tim Holtz um, uh, alcohol ink kit. And then also on this card, I use the very popular um, wavy stitch edge die, and we've been selling like these like crazy. So make sure you hop on over to our store for this. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so now what we're gonna do is just grab, um, I'm gonna use a, um, just a, a silicone mat for easy cleanup, okay? So let's just grab that, bring this in here like that so you know what we're working on. And bring in my little glossy cardstock right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to get out, um, I'm gonna use the red this time, and I'm gonna get out my fixative. Make sure you shake it before you um, put it on, and I'm also gonna use um, the alcohol, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is just take and spot this around, and I like to do a full sheet just so that I have um, enough to, to do other things with, all right? And you can also use this as a background. All right, so there's my red. The next thing I'm gonna plop on there is the metallic. And I don't want a whole lot. All right, there we go, that's enough for there. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, now uh, instead of using the little um, the little daubers right here, for this method, I like to use just a, a cotton ball right here. And I'm gonna put the, the, um, the alcohol right on the cotton ball and I'm going to just daub it into my color. Now I put an awful lot of the gold on here. I really didn't need that much gold. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add a little bit more red to this and watch what happens. This is where playing with it is so much fun. Look at what it's doing right here. It is absolutely gorgeous. All right, and that's what I said. You can do as much or as, look at this. I just have to kind of just show it to you. Look at how pretty that is. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, you know, like I said, there's just so much that you can do with this that I don't wanna, I don't know, it's just so pretty. It's just so pretty. I'm gonna add a little bit more red and then I'm just gonna let it dry. This is just so pretty. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna let that dry. So here we have it, it's all nice and dry. I just hit it with a heat gun. I also wanted to show you one where I didn't have as much of the gold in here. So this one is really saturated with the gold. Um, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous in person. And here's one that I did without as much gold in it. It's just so pretty. So let me just bring back in some of the other ones that I did. Here is the teal, pretty, pretty. And then here is the yellow. Now, the nice thing about using these with dyes is that you can kind of pick and choose where you want it to go. So let's bring in the dye that I'm kind of highlighting today, and that is going to be the vase. And I'm just going to kind of pick a spot that I would like to um, use. I'm going to save this one as for a background. I'm going to use this one right here. And all I'm going to do is run this through my Vagabond. So I'm going to take and bring you over here to show you that I'm just going to run it through my Vagabond. All right, just add the little die and run her through. Super. All righty, and let's bring this back over here. And this is what we captured. Bring it over here. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Look at, look at, look at. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, you can you could have put this on anywhere you wanted. Um, so I can keep making these and um, using them for other projects. Now, the other thing that's nice about this die right here is that you can also take and cut them in half to make smaller vases. So here's the bottom of the vase. And then this literally is, whoops, let's do it this way. That's the top of the vase. But if I wanted two smaller vases, I could take and I could use them just like that. So cool, right? So let's get off the, um, the silicone mat and let's proceed with the rest of the card. All right, so here's the card that I'm doing. Now, the rest of the things that I have, and I wanna show you this really cool little tip that I have. So the dies um, nowadays come, so they're all attached. Um, just like this one right here. So this one was attached to this and I just cut it apart, but I don't want you to cut these apart. And the reason I say that is if you did, you would have to put these through each one of them, um, you know, all by itself. And then they might spin, they might turn or whatever. So what I do is I just leave them all as a whole and I put them on a scrap piece of paper like this and I run them through my die cutting machine, which is my Vagabond. It's a Tim Holtz day today, guys. We've got our alcohol inks. We've got our Vagabond. Oh my gosh, I love Tim Holtz. All right, so we're just going to run those through. Yep, they're all one die because I didn't cut them apart. All right, so here are these. And then I just pop them out. So we're just going to take these and grab my little poker here. This is the one I grabbed, okay? And then I just pop them out in the middle. And... Let's see, we've got this one right here. And this one right here. Alrighty, so now it's time to color them. So I'm just gonna grab a scrap sheet of paper and I, I'm gonna color the bottoms of them because I'm gonna show you something really cool to do on the top. All right, so here's my Here's my little guys right here. And I'm gonna grab my, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna color them with a Copic marker for right now. All right, and you don't have to color them all the way to the bottom because we're not gonna use the whole stem. All right, so I'm just coloring right there. Okay, and let's grab this little guy out of here. Alrighty, so we've got all our flowers. And now let me show you what we're going to do to the top. All right, remember I told you that you're going to use over and over and over again the extra sheets that you were um, just using. So this is the one that we just used to um, cut out the vase. Well, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this right here and I'm gonna run this through my Vagabond, but I'm only gonna put them like right to here because I only want these little flowers. Why waste the rest of them? But these are gonna be my flowers. So I'm gonna just put them back onto my Vagabond. 
and run Alrighty. them through. Here is these little guys right here. All right, and I need to do this one right down here. All right, so I'm just gonna run that one through. All righty, here we have, see how I just used parts of it? Awesome, awesome. And I have more left over for um, others. So I'm just gonna pop these little guys out right here. These are gonna be, let's see, here's one right over here. Alrighty, I think we have all of them. So now what I'm gonna do is to take just the flower part of it and I'm gonna take and cut off the tops of them, right? Just so that I have just the flowers, I don't need the stems. All right, so I'm gonna use this one and this one. And that one. All right, so now what we're gonna do is grab some, some of our Gina K glue and let's, let's line these up. going to take some of my Gina K glue and just add it to each one of the flowers and add on the tops to them. You see how they just fit right on there? So there's the first one. There we go. So now I could have just colored the tops of them, but I wanted them to be marbleized just like the um, just like the little uh, vase right here. And they just came out so very, very pretty. Look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? OK, so now to add them to our vase. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my um, tape runner. Okay, and add it to the back end. Now I'm going to add my flowers. Now I don't want them to be too tall. See how they hang out the bottom? That's why I didn't care that they were, weren't um, colored at the bottom. So I'm just going to add these to my little vase right here. All right. And like I said, you can do as many or as little as you want. You can even add to this by just running them through some more. And they're just sticking to the glue on the back of that. Okay, there we go. All right, now to add to that, let's just cut off these little pieces right here. All right, now they all fit into my vase. And what I'm going to do now is to add some of my foam squares here to the back end of it. It's going to um, add to the security of these on the back, but it's also going to pop it up onto my card. So let's just grab my card base and the pieces to go along with it. All right, so I'm gonna do this one on a black card and hopefully it's gonna look good, all right? Um, I did cut out my bow ahead of time, so I'm just gonna add this with my adhesive. There we go, to my card base. And then add this piece on top of that one. Okay, so far so good. All right, now we're going to add our vase to it. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, I love the red. I absolutely love the red. All right, I'm going to add it down to the bottom right there. And then I'm going to add my little bow with a glue dot here okay right here in the middle oh this is so pretty I'm actually liking this one even more than I did the look at that isn't that so very very pretty oh my goodness I love this all right and then whatever sentiment that you want on it I love this one 
Um, it comes from Art Impressions. And here it is right here. It is, we're going to take and use clear ink and just put it down here at the bottom. It's just takes this little guy right there. Okay. And there we go. I'm going to add some gold embossing powder to that. And now I'm just going to heat it up. So let's grab this out of the way. I'll grab my heat tool. And isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love the way that came out. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that is my marbleized technique. And um, like I said, the majority of this stuff you can find over in our shop at um, Teaspoon of Fun. It's absolutely an amazing site. Um, I hope you enjoyed my post for today. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. You take care. Have a great day. And thank you for stopping by. Bye.